we good? Are we good? When I say go, that means we're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up guys? Jared Campisi. We are not back at the track today. Today we're in the gym. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to work out for track and field. And although I do have lifting videos on my channel, those are more geared toward bodybuilding, as you can probably tell. Uh, <laughs> So what I wanted to do is I figured, you know what, instead of like telling people in comments how to adjust those videos or those workouts, I'm just going to show you a full body workout routine that you can do in season for track and field. The full workout will be in the description below. Christina and I are going to go demo it for you guys right now and we'll explain what kind of things you should be focusing on, what the, what the exercise looks like, what the form should look like, your rep ranges, etc. So this is a full body workout you can do. I recommend doing it twice a week probably, maybe three times, but if you're in season actually competing, I'd say twice a week is more than enough. You'd want to do this on your tech days, so maybe there are your uh, lower days on the track. When you're not doing a track, like hard track workout, then do this workout twice a week, and let's get started. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna be starting with today is the squat. It's one of the best exercises. I know for me personally, the stronger I was on squats, the faster I was on the track. So it's hands down one of the best exercises for track and field athletes. But the way that we're gonna be performing the squats, instead of bodybuilding where you wanna like go slow and control everything, get the muscle contraction, um, what you wanna do for track and field is you wanna have that explosive movement. So when you're coming down, coming up you want to feel like you're exploding up now obviously you're gonna have weight on your back so it might not look like you're exploding but that's what you're telling your mind or that's what you're telling your muscles because that's the kind of signals you want to send to your body because that's what will translate onto the track so we're gonna do one to two for everything today we're gonna to be doing one to two warm-up sets of 10 10 to 12 reps and then we'll be doing working sets that are a little bit lower in the, in the rep ranges so the eight six four and the reason we do that is because that's our strength rep ranges. That will help build strength, but it won't necessarily build size. And for track and field, we don't want size. We just want strength. We want to be as small and lean and strong as possible. That's what translates to speed on the track. So let's get started. Yeah. So this is her first working set after our warm up sets. So she's aiming for eight reps with good solid form, getting down as low as she can, then exploding on the way up. Let's watch the depth. Solid. Good. It's perfect. my last working set for today. I'm only working with 275, don't feel super well, so I'm just gonna not push it. People always ask me, how do you stay healthy? Listening to your body. If something doesn't feel right, or your joints are aching or something like that, back it off for the day. It doesn't mean you can be a pussy, if you're just being a pussy. But pay attention to your body. So for now, for today, this will be good for my set of four, so here we go. After squats, we're gonna give our lower half a break, come over to the bench. It's another compound movement for our upper body. Do one or two warm-up sets, 10 to 15 reps to get make sure the upper body's ready to go, and then hit your heavy sets of eight, six, four. So here's my warm-up set. I don't have a spotter, 
So for my working sets, I'm going a little bit lighter to make sure I don't kill myself. Um, and I just wanted to point out, upper body strength does correlate to the track. Um, Michael Johnson, who is the world record holder in the 400 meter dash, his trainer said he used to be able to bench 225 all day long. Obviously, he was exaggerating, but um, you know that's the kind of strength and power that you need to have on the track that will give you an advantage over your competitor. So the stronger that you get, the faster you're going. So here we go. So now we're coming over to the deadlift. Um, if you know how to clean, this would be a good place to put the cleans, but since a lot of people don't know how to do it, and I don't, if I'm not there to see your form, there's no way I'm gonna know if you're gonna do it correctly. So I'm gonna substitute deadlifts, which is an amazing exercise. It's gonna hit the backs of your legs, pretty much your whole body, um, your back, <clears throat> everything basically. So this is a strength building power exercise. You wanna do a couple warm up sets and then go as heavy as you can in those same rep ranges, eight, six, four, and here we go. So this is Christina's, Christina's heavy set. It'd be a set of four. Keeping that bar path close to her legs. Keeping that back flat. And then just ripping it off the ground. <laughs> nice. Good job. things with the form when you're deadlifting. One, do conventional stance, which is legs about shoulder width parallel. Don't do sumo because uh, I find this is correlates to the track better. It's gonna hit your hamstrings more, your glutes, stuff like that. Um, second thing is make sure you're keeping your back flat. If it starts to round, then drop the weight. Always form over weight. So even though I'm telling you to go heavy, go as heavy as you can do using good form so you don't hurt yourself. So this is my heavy set for today. I'll do six set, four, four to six. Here we go. So next we're gonna come over to some dumbbell shoulder press. A wonderful exercise for getting bigger, stronger shoulders, which is gonna directly correlate to the track whenever you're pumping your arms when you get tired and uh, keep you guys running fast. So choose a weight, do, do a warm up set or two, and then we'll get into our workups. Working, working sets. pull-ups, it's gonna work our entire back. We're gonna do three sets to failure on each set. So just as many as you can do each set, take a minute or two in between. Here we go. finish off the workout, we're gonna do lunges. Use some dumbbells or a barbell if you have it. We're gonna do sets of 10 each leg, which is 20. So three sets of 20 total. Give yourself about a minute, minute and a half break, and let's do it.
All right, so that's a workout you guys can do. Take it into the gym with you. Do it two times a week, three if you're advanced. But like I said, if you're in season, I wouldn't do this more than twice a week. If you get stronger in the track or in the weight room, guys, it's gonna make you faster on the track. It's that simple. The stronger I got, the faster I ran. So if you wanna really get an edge on your competitors, a lot of people don't like to go into the gym and train. This is where you do it, guys. So, like I said, the full workout description, the full workout is in the description below. Give it a shot, let me know if you have questions. Leave your comments below. Hit a thumbs up for Christina and I. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you want more videos. And like I said, always ask me questions. Tell me what you guys want to see, and I will make it happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, for J Camp Easy and J Camp Fit, we'll catch you in the next one. And now it's yours. And we took this round the world. And we caught it in the squares. Just about.